Hello, in this video, we're going to do a mathematics problem. The question says, let f of t equal t cubed plus 6t squared minus t, and g of t equal 3t cubed minus 4t squared plus 7t. For what values of t will f of t be equal to g of t? Let's go ahead and work through this solution. So to solve this, we'll start by setting these two functions equal to each other. So we have f of t, which is t cubed plus 6t squared minus t. That's f of t. And we want it to be equal to g of t, which is 3t cubed minus 4t squared plus 7t. We want these two functions to be equal to each other. And to solve this equation, what we want to do is set it equal to zero. So I'm going to subtract the t cubed from both sides. Also subtract the 6t squared from both sides. And also add t to both sides. So gone, gone, gone. 3t cubed minus t cubed is 2t cubed. I'm going to write it on the left-hand side. Negative 4t squared minus 6t squared is minus 10t squared. 7t plus t is 8t. And this is equal to 0. Now we're going to factor. It looks like the greatest common factor in this case is 2t. So we have 2t, parentheses, to figure out what goes here, we have to think, what do we multiply by 2t in order to get 2t cubed? Well, that would be t squared. And you can check 2t times t squared is 2t cubed because there's a 1 here on the t. And so you add the exponents when you multiply because the bases are the same. What do we multiply by 2t to get negative 10t squared? That's going to be minus 5t. And you can check 2t times 5t is 10t squared. We have a negative. And then what do we multiply by 2t in order to get 8t? Simply 4. And this is equal to 0. Let's keep going. This is 2t. This quadratic should factor. Let's try to do it via guessing. We'll put a t here in the first parentheses and a t here in the second parentheses. That's because t times t is t squared. Now we need two numbers that multiply to positive 4, but add to the middle term, which is negative 5. So 4 and 1, and let's make them both negative, so that they add to negative 5. We, we, could, we should check. Negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4. Negative 4 plus negative 1 is negative 5. So all is good. Whenever you have a product equal to 0, you set each factor equal to 0. This tells us that 2t is 0, or t minus 4 is 0, or t minus 1 is 0. By the, or, by the way, or in mathematics is one or the other or both. So all of these are going to be answers, and that's okay. It's very different from or in English. Or in English is exclusive. Or in math means one or the other or both are true. This first equation is super easy. We just divide by 2. So we get t equals 0 as one of our answers. I'm going to put that in a box. This one here, we add 4 to both sides, so we get t equals 4. That's another one of our answers. And the last one, we add 1, and so we get t equals 1. That's another answer there. That's it. Hopefully, you've learned some mathematics in this video, and this is how you can determine when two functions are equal. Hope it's been helpful. Good luck.